Here we go! From all accounts, I have heard episode 10 is where the show just... It just goes, apparently. Episode 10 is the episode. So I can assume it relates to multiple things. So we have three plot lines. Four. Well, really, I assume this relates to Anne's friend and the frog guy that potentially is related to the book. It could relate to the three. The three sets of three. Intro, box, girls, also potentially eyes. Other plot lines that could touch up on that, I don't think. The re-election plot line. There is a love plot line now with Gal Gal. So that's everything I can think of. And I'm just gonna go. Oh, wait, crap. I need to put my headband on. I gotta look like my freaking profile picture here and there, you know? Woo! Side note, sorry if you hear fans, because I want to die in this heat. Here we go to season one, episode 10, Toad Tax Prison Break. You know, I can assume that, that actually relates to the prison and the mayor. Probably shouldn't read that title, huh? I'll just go. Oh no, we're getting a special. Is, oh, is that the intro? Oh no, you know an episode's special when the intro is shortened. Score! And I got the Someone else is gonna one. grab it? Hey! Correct him and <laughs> Okay. Hey, move your bed behind, Scarecrow! Why Scarecrow? So what you're telling me is finally it is touching up on this. After multiple episodes of her being treated utterly fine. Still treat me crummy. This is the first time we're seeing them treat you crummy in public. At least it's being brought up. Mayor! Easy. What's wrong? Oh, it's Steven touching up on the, like a relation. Okay. We get an epic freaking epic plot. Outsider guys. Those guys. Toads from Toad Tower. Toad Tower. Oh, is that the thing? Big scary tower. Oh! Okay. This is the prison with the guy and the gal? So, you're from Toad Tower? So! Whoa! What is Oh! That? Oh, they're gonna report it? Don't come any closer. Is that a challenge? <laughs> yes, kind of. Oh, crap. Actually, it is. All right. Ah! Uh. That was awesome. All right. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> I was thinking we could hang out with these guys a little longer. They seem pretty cool. No, they... Cool. I'm eating your pancakes! <laughs> of course. I didn't get a chance to ask for Name's Bog. The silent Bog. Oh, it's Bog Man! <laughs> Alright! The mayor gave us this list of frogs we didn't pay, and we're just here to collect. Okay. Well, we freaking should know Hot Pops on the list because that's conflict of the episode. I'm not sure any of this is my business. That's fair. hard aware in this badge is how everyone in this town will have to treat you with respect. We'll have to? Or we'll want to, you see. Also, check out this cool sword Bog gave me. Hey, wait a minute. Okay. Wait, sword. What, what was she do? What does she have in the intro? Is it a sword? When I said earn the town's respect, I didn't mean join a gang. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Yes. Can you at least use the front door? <laughs> no. All right. So how does this work? You stab him. They're gonna, yeah, that makes sense. Schmuck men. But I always pay my taxes. The mayor's list says otherwise. Since oh, is the mayor lying? Because like the mayor didn't pay. You freaking mayor sucks. Yoink! Oh well, they got the jerky. <laughs> it's just the way we do things here. Plus, it's not like we enjoy it. Are you sure about that? Well, they seem to. They. They. You seem to enjoy it, buddy. Here, take this back. Oh, she's actually gonna be gaining respect. Okay. Oh. Well, he always pays his taxes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the mayor. Yeah, we're getting the plot line. Coming, sir. Money. Oh my God, this stupid idiot schmuck man. I do not appreciate the mayor. Mission done. Stuff. Neither done. Yeah. Yeah, you friggin' schmuck men. Who's next on the list? Eh, some nut named Hapadaya. Wow. If we didn't get the money, then where is it? Well, let's find out. There it is! Oh, that's so... Perfect plan. The taxes! Oh, why 
would you confront them? Tell someone else first. They're gonna stab you. Oh, we're getting action. Why does Anne get a sword, but the other three don't? He made me watch. Oh no! Oop! <laughs> the list don't lie. Wow. Well, the person that made the list lies. No! Shut up. Yeah! You have a sword. Stab the toads. Are we kind of getting like a race war if the toads are evil? <laughs> oh no! Get off our property! Yeah! Now it's freaking raining. Okay. Well, you're gaining the trust. Shame we didn't see like this plot come up before. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do the same to them. All right. Well, it's being resolved now. But I like this. I like this. Woo! I fell. They're gonna all gang up on you now. Did you just have those? Oh, come on, you have the entire town here. If they don't help, they suck. Your foot's <laughs> about to be a pancake. Ah, oh, foot! Oh! You got the sword. I I didn't know she had the sword in the intro. All right. Is she left-handed? I feel like that sword would be in your dominant hand. Wave goodbye to your crap. Oh, it doesn't matter either way. Oh, wow. Well, I would assume there would be freaking blood. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah! She's one of us! Wow, yeah! Oh? Okay. Shut up. Stab him. Why is he elected? <laughs> wow! I needed the extra money from- For what? You have any idea how much it costs to buy your love? You... Suck. We'll be back. And yeah, next episode probably. Why? Why does he? Why? Why do the toads get taxed? Tell the captain about that creature we found. Oh, we're gonna tell the captain. Okay. 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 Thanks, guys. Okay. This is a freaking good one. Oh no. Prison break. No, we don't even get an intro for this. Far, far away from Wartward. Okay. What? Oh, it is just a freaking direct continuation. We're getting the race war this episode. Okay, we're getting this man. So two different colored eyes, blue and green. Why is your eye glowing? I don't remember that. Frogs in the valley are getting unruly. Oh well, yeah, because you freaking tax them every year or whatever. Gal, okay, whoa. Sash. Okay, so I'm freaking okay. We're just getting this stuff. Totally. Bring it. What is this? She's just all right with being in prison forever. And why did she want the stupid box as well? She made and steal it. You're wasting your time here as a guard. Oh, is she manipulative. Ah. Oh, oh, oh wait. I sh I could have guessed that from last episode. It'd be like that. You can fit through that. The fifth toad I've talked into leaving this week. Wow. There's plenty more where that came from, and far more loyal than Percy. Are you sure about that? I don't like you. What do I want? To find my friends and go home. That's okay, that's fair. Oh, hey, Sash. <laughs> hey, girlfriend. How's your yeah. coming Okay, along? what is this? <gasps> oh. You guys are scared of a bird. Yeah, well, you've, you've seen the freaking creatures here. A murderous predator that happens to love the taste of flesh. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> this toad's gonna follow his dream! Oh. oh, rip Percy. Oh, this is wild! Alright! Have that collapse. Whoa, this is serious. Oh, she's escaping! Break the chain! Okay, well. My first reaction is not to like her, but it's all right so far. She could be worth something. Wow, really? Fight with me, and together we'll end. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is wild. All right. You know what would lighten this atmosphere a little bit? Shut up. Oh, oh my god. How many herons does it take to storm a castle? <laughs> Two, apparently. Primesy, a word in private, please. Okay. Is she gonna if teach him how to be manipulative? <laughs> Man. Get them to love you, and they'll do anything for you. Yeah, no, I don't like her. It works all right. Trust me. Yeah, no. Not a fan. 
Also, she is kind of friggin' teaming up with the villain, so. And he makes a mistake. He owns it. And he doesn't stop until he makes things right. And because of that. Oh, compliment? Oh! He's earned my respect. I have. Y yes? Yeah? No one wants to live forever! No, I mean, I think a few people do. Don't like the vibe Sosh is giving off here. I love you. I've always loved oh. you. Oh. <laughs> what is it? All right, troops, listen yeah, she's freaking just teaming with the villain. Even after being imprisoned all this time. I don't really get the motivation there. But... You're far too dangerous and manipulative. Yeah. We both know I can't stop you. You have a sword, right? What do you mean you can't stop her? Restore order and find your friends. Okay. I think I can live with that. Then come, Lieutenant. What about? Hmm. I'm coming for you, and when I find you, we're gonna get home. Okay. First, I think we're gonna have some fun with this place. Uh, is this gonna end there? Ooh. Is that the first episode without Anne? Oh, what the heck? I don't. Uh, what the next episode? That's. There's a lot to unpack there. So sorry. Okay, so she does seem to care, but also is still an extremely manipulative person. She's not a good person, but she does seem to care, at least, about the other girls, which we don't even know one of the girls. That's interesting. That is really interesting. It's really just... Oh, look at that hair. That episode is really just interesting to think about. But she is teaming with the villain, but it is seeming like... It's to, to get friends to go home, but also why did she, did she know how to get home? Did she know the box? Why would she? She's clearly manipulative and, she's, and she clearly has tendencies of getting people to do what she wants, including, most notably, Anne. She does not seem like a good friend in every regard, but she does seem to care by, at the end. It makes sense that she wants to get home, though. Uh, maybe it's like some things she knows Anne would have the box. If she knows what's up, which is what I feel like she would know what's up. She made Anne steal the box to open it. I feel like she would know what is up, right? Maybe that's the only reason she wants to find them. I don't know. That, that is a good one to unpack. That is that is a, a good one to unpack. I give you that. I give you that. It takes off. The episode makes you want to feel like, oh, she's cool. But also the episode's like... She's not cool. I said this multiple times, but we basically, we're probably, like, we're getting a race war. Frogs versus toads. I think I don't have anything else to think about, right? Like, I've processed all I can. It's just interesting. Fight with me, and together we'll 